Monet's series paintings help us see the world anew. Perception isn't fixed, is what they tell us. We can return again and again to the same scene and see it with completely fresh eyes. I want to paint like a bird sings, he said. He had a very direct and unmediated response to his subject matter, which is very visible here. We can almost feel Monet sitting on the Seine in the diffuse early morning light. The story of Monet's work is really a journey into perception. It's always about what it means to see and how the eye can feel. These series paintings from the 1890s find us at the midpoint of Monet's journey into perception, halfway between the representation of his early days at La Grenouillère and almost inching towards the abstraction of the Grande Decoration of his final decades. Port Ville is just south of Giverny, on the River Seine, the river that was at the very heart of Monet's work. Monet was deeply attached to the Seine, and he's really the ultimate painter of place. But I think there's an irony here, because subject matter itself, at least by the 1890s, has come to achieve a secondary importance within Monet's work. He even says at one point the subject is of no importance to him. What he really cares about painting is what happens between him and the subject. These are pictures about seeing. Their true subject, in fact, is perception, and with it the sense of subjectivity that's at the very heart of modernism. Paul Cezanne once famously said, Monet is nothing but an eye, but what an eye. I've always thought that does him something of an injustice. Fixing his subject matter actually liberated Monet, knowing the architecture of his composition was set in stone, in the case of Rouen Cathedral, or the haystacks, or the river at Port Villet, enabled him to focus on what he was really interested in painting, and that's the climactic effects, the changing light, the changing water, the changing times of day, that made that instant a very specific and unique moment. One of the things I've always admired most in Monet is the immediacy and vitality with which he paints, drawing attention to that very direct approach that he took. There's nothing hidden in the way that Monet works. The brush strokes are very visible. We can almost feel him producing them, using a very limited range of color, four or five only, and reducing his brush strokes to their very essentials. This painting is signed and dated 1897, and that's another thing I like about Monet. He knew when to walk away. A lot of artists would keep going, they would overpaint, not know when to finish. Not the case with Monet. He knew exactly when he'd captured that impression on the canvas. Monet's greatest paintings lift us out of our present. They take us back to that instant, to that moment in the early morning light on the Seine, this great sense of peace that pervades the picture, which I think is one of the reasons Monet has been so attractive to collectors and institutions ever since the 1890s. People want to live with this sense of peace.